It's a simple device that has made a huge impact. The selfie stick has spread right around the world, making headlines, even triggering somewhat of a backlash. The Smithsonian Museum is just the latest museum to ban the use of selfie sticks. But behind the headlines, the ingenious invention has a rather humble story. Wayne Brom is the inventor of the Quick Pod, and he joins us in studio right now. The Quick Pod, or Selfie Stick, yes. as it's now called. Great mm -hmm. to have you here. Thank you. Tell us the story behind this, because it started with you on vacation with your daughter. Correct. Uh, we were in Italy. We were on the Ponte Vecchio, and uh, we're always exchanging our camera to a stranger and having them you know, take our picture. You have to flag someone down or holding, you know, one person be in the picture, one wouldn't be in the picture. So that's when I had the inspiration for developing this. It was more than 10 years ago. And your daughter, now 27 years yes. old, mm. but I know that this isn't the only thing that you invented. You, you were quite celebrated inventor, and yeah. you said, I was reading an article about you, that Sage, your daughter, is the yeah. inspiration for a lot of this stuff. Sure. As a child, I had invented the Beauty and the Beast magic talking mirror for children. It was a mirror that you would push the button, and it would, the characters would come to life and talk to you. And then we had, later in my career for her, we had Tie-Dye Teddy, we had... Um, crazy bones which were collectible figurines which were very popular as well so as she grew older my inventions uh, you know kept up with her they age. kept up and changed <laughs> as she yeah. grew mm -hmm. uh, tell me about there, there are a lot of um, selfie sticks out there mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of people who copied your idea mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that and and whether you think the quick pot is getting its just desserts yeah, QuickPod is actually doing very, very well. It has a lot of unique features. So people, uh, if they come across one that's more of a commodity, they, it breaks very quickly, very easily, and then they decide, hey, we better go you know, up, at, up the level of uh, quality. So the original quick pods, uh, they work with smartphones, they work with, uh, you know, with, with point and shoot cameras, they have a little selfie mirror as well, so you're able to see yourself relative to your camera lens, even for smartphones that works. They have quick release uh, attachments so you can change cameras, they're impervious to salt water, they're used by GoPro divers, they're used tandem paragliding, so they're very, very um, heavy duty as well, so we're not, you're not going to be jumping skydiving and you know, you land and your stick is broken and your camera is missing, and that's the difference. So, you know, this is the iPhone of quick of, of selfie sticks. The iPhone of selfie sticks. I love <laughs> that analogy. Um, Want to know though uh, about? There was a story about. I think it was the Beijing Olympics. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. And and you were wondering whether or not to actually display your mm -hmm. quick pod there, and yeah. that led to some issues. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, I I had uh, we we sold them at the Beijing airport and. Uh, you know, partly it was for you know for exposure, but of course, uh, factories from all over the world get to see what you're developing as well. So it might have been a little premature to have launched it in uh, you know in some of the overseas markets. But we've caught up. We're now in over 40 countries. Here in Canada, you can buy it at Best Buy. You can buy it at Future Shop Henry's, which is our first customer. Uh, goes back almost 10 years at Henry's. So, and when you see high-profile celebs mm -hmm. yep. using uh, your stick. How does that make you feel? I'm very proud. Anderson Cooper's used it. Oprah's used it. Ellen has used it. Uh, we have a uh, Jamie uh, uh, Anderson at the Sochi Olympics was parading around with it. We have a lot of GoPro athletes using our stick as well. Which is just This mm -hmm. interview and and the places that have now banned it. Yeah. But if you if you're getting banned, it means that you've got a, something that's quite popular. <laughs> you've got a brand that's yeah. well known. It's controversial, that's for sure. It's unfortunate because my original promotion for this was that you could use them in art galleries because tripods were tripping hazards. Mine all convert to monopods, so they're ground supported as well. So you can take low angle shots, low low light shots, whatnot. So it's a little unfortunate, but I guess people are infringing on other people's you know privacy when they're taking pictures or maybe they're getting too close to artwork so it's it's one of the hazards can't wait for the next invention i'm sure you're working on something oh, I am. I am. proud canadian that you are <laughs> thank you thank so you. much nice to see you thank you